Hello everybody, this is the old bear from the old bear's den of Bigfoot. Um, tonight I'm going to bring you a video about a Bigfoot in Georgia. But first, what I want to do is I want to let all of you know um, why I've been uh, down lately. A few weeks ago, we were told by our next oldest daughter that she has cancer. Oh, I, I know, I don't want money, don't send money. Uh, we will, uh, as dad, I'll spend everything that I have to, my retirement, everything if I have to, to, to save my daughter. Uh, I love her to death. And, uh, it's tough to talk about, but I just wanted to let you guys know that for the last two or three, last couple of three videos, uh, we've had this bad news, and uh, it's affected the whole family. It's brought our family together um, a lot closer than we were before now. We've rally all rallied around my little girl and uh, well anyway all I want from any of you uh, from all of y'all all the subscribers the viewers whoever watches just keep my daughter in your prayers is all I can ask um, She's, uh, she's strong-willed. <laughs> Some might call her hard-headed, but to me, she's a strong-willed woman. And, uh, no matter how old she is, she's my baby. Um, I just ask that you pray for her. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get to the story. And, uh... Just keep her in your prayers is all I ask. Uh, we don't want anything else. We'll we'll deal with whatever has to be dealt with in the best possible way. Um, just pray for it. Anyway, this story comes out of Georgia. It's the biggest major city in Georgia. This couple has lived at this home for 20 years or more. They've raised raised one that's already 18. The other one is 14. Uh, raised two kids. This home never had any trouble. Never saw anything. Never heard nothing. Never had any trouble. Uh, they live outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Small town outside of Atlanta. Uh, there is a power line right away on the back side of their, at the back side of their property, and they like to walk around through the woods that's on the back side of their home. And while walking around, one day the husband and wife were out there, and they heard something. Heard a deer. Uh, do a distress call and then it just shut up well they went to investigate and got to this little opening in the right of way because it's fairly brushy in the right of way uh, you know how the brush will grow up they just hadn't cleared it out in the last five or six years anyway they cleared the br they haven't cleared the brush and got to a little opening in the right of way uh, after walking down a little trail that went through the brush a deer had made and got in there and uh, 
we're standing there at the right the clearing and the husband and wife were looking to see you know if they could see a deer uh, that had made that call and they couldn't see anything and the husband looked to his left and right to his left there was a Bigfoot standing there looking at him she said about seven and a half eight foot tall um, long brown hair just standing there looking at him and when he got his wife's attention he grabbed his wife's arm and and he told her he said look to your left she looked and kind of gasped and made a little scream and um, he uh, as soon as she screamed a little bit that thing took off well, then they heard something to the right, and we're looking over to the right. And the husband was kind of looking to the left and back to the right. Uh, a lot bigger Bigfoot stepped out. He said this thing was just simply huge. Um, it was close to 12 foot tall. And carrying a deer, a dead deer, the deer that just made the distress call. <coughs> it just stopped, looked at him, turned a little bit and looked at him, holding the deer, and just turned back and went through the brush, carrying the deer. Well, they decided to hightail it back towards the house, and they got home, and they've never had anything come to their home, never, nothing happened for a week, and then one day they were sitting there eating breakfast or eating their lunch, I can't, I think it was lunchtime, and, because both of them work at home, uh, and this the same Bigfoot that they saw that was eight foot tall, brown hair, look, was looking out behind a tree at them. Um, it wasn't even a full week since they had seen it. That's the first time that they, they, they saw it. It was probably been five or six days since they had seen it and they were home during the week and this thing just stepped out and uh, looked at him after a few uh, maybe no more than a minute it disappeared behind the big oak tree that it would, had stepped out from and left well another week went by the uh, husband was sitting there uh, in looking out the window, big picture window on her home, and noticed this thing standing right there at, leaning against a tree. Uh, then they done it again the next week, and they were both sitting there eating again, and this thing stepped out and was just standing there and leaned up against the tree and just stood there and watched him for five or six minutes. Then it walked off, and they said it doesn't come in the yard, doesn't do anything, just stands there, watches them eat, and then it just walks off. And uh, that's happened a few times now, so um, it's not causing them any trouble. Anyway, I uh, figured I'd better bring this story to you. It's fairly recent. Uh, there's a gentleman that uh, I know in, in Georgia near Atlanta he's going to uh, uh, me and him discuss Bigfoot all the time and um, he said it doesn't surprise him so um, I hope you all like the story I know it ain't a very long one but uh, 
ladies and gentlemen that's what we have for this show and uh, we're going to uh, stop the video and as I said in the beginning of the video I hope each and every one of you um, keep my daughter in your prayers I thank you for it and uh, please lift her up to the uh, the greatest physician that has ever been known lift her up to God um, we love her as we uh, we love each and every one of y'all um, and I'm sorry for the shaking So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to conclude the video, and uh, we hope that uh, you all have a blessed and beautiful day, and we thank you, and you all have a wonderful life. Bye-bye.